Okay, so now we're here over at the uh, drill press. And uh, with uh, Kydex, I so strongly suggest getting one of these Kydex bits from like uh, knifekits.com. <clears throat> They're very, very handy. And they do a great job cutting holes in the Kydex. So, all right, we're just going to go through, drill holes, and uh, yeah, just drill the holes. Okay, so the, help, the holes are going to be pretty gnarly and probably need to be cleaned out. So we'll do that next. Um, we'll clean out the holes. Uh, I'm going to show you how to dissect the two halves. Okay, so when you're dissecting these two, you can, if you leave enough room up here, you can pull these apart and use your uh, tin snips to cut them open. But I prefer using a little hacksaw. does a really good job okay next part is to actually trim off the excess uh, kydex and uh, trim the back to shape so we'll move over back over to the table okay back over here at the table we're gonna take our back piece and still has the outline so we're going to take our tin snips and cut about a quarter of an inch outside the line. that so we've got a rough rough shape and then take a knife and clean up the holes a little bit and the holes on this side as well okay that looks smooth So like there's they'll get sometimes big buildups of plastic in there so you want to cut those off so these are pretty smooth now okay so I keep a bunch of these uh, uh, rivets that had uh, flaws scratches stuff like that I'll keep them for this purpose right here um, you want to put the two halves together and place rivets in them. Don't don't uh, crimp them. Just place them through, and this will hold your material in the correct position while you trim the side you hadn't marked. And then you put as many as you want in there. So now we're going to take our shears and cut around this as well.
All right, so now we've got the rough shape. All that's left now is to uh, sand out the sand out the uh, smooth round edges. So I'm going to take the tripod and set up over at the other bench, and then we'll uh, we'll get to sanding. All right, so now we're over here at the sander, and we're going to round these edges out and get them closer in take as much of this material off as we want and uh, we're just going to do the outside layer here and we'll do the finer stuff with the Dremel so So we got the uh, outline of it on the, the bottom half. So now we're gonna I'm gonna take the Dremel and and uh, contour the tops here. See that uh, that thumb space right there? If it's nice, make a nice make for a nice draw. Okay, so now that the outline is done, now we're gonna uh, round the edges edges off a little bit. What you want to do is take it at an angle. And just... then press your rivets out hit the inside edge of the top
there you have it. We have a, our basic shape, smooth edges. Next part is uh, getting that polished up to make it smoother because the sanding discs are pretty pretty rough. So I'm going to pause this and get set back up over at the other table. Okay, we're back here at the work workbench or work table here. And uh, the next step in the process, you're going to want to put your rivets back in so that you get a nice even finish here. Okay, so those are all in. And you can go as as fine as you want uh, grit on your sandpaper. Um, I go to 220. Uh, in the 400s, it'd probably be fine too. But uh, I just go to 220. I start with a one, 120 grit and just sand off the rough edges. Now while I was sanding here, if you can see that there's a there's a gap right there that's from the um, end being uh, looped over. And I'm going to show you how to fix that after we're done sanding here. Okay, you want to get use your 120 grit to get it mostly smooth. And then you're going to hit it with your 220 and consecutively your finer and finer grits until you get that smooth finish that you like, as smooth as you like it. 220 is smooth enough so that it feels like slick plastic and that's good enough for me. If you want a mirror polish on it, you can go higher than that. That feels pretty good. It's very smooth, slick, very comfortable. Okay, so let's fix this uh, little burr here. And then af after you sand it, you're going to want to take it apart again to uh, clean it. Stuff gets in there. Just brush it out. And then reinsert the rivets probably don't need as many this time but you want to make sure you get them in the area that you're going to fix oh I was going to mention um, for small knives or for knives without a handle uh, you can press them without tape, but for your larger knives, you're going to want to put some of, some of this on there. This is a uh, clean release duct tape, uh, painter's tape. This stuff works really good. It uh, stays on the knife pretty well, but, uh, with the smaller knives, you won't actually want some friction inside the kydex to hold it in there okay so in order to fix uh, this lip right here I'm going to show you uh, how to tune the kydex you want to take a wet uh, paper towel soak it in water get it wet and you're going to want to protect wrap it around the uh, parts of the sheath that you don't want to heat up and the damp paper towel will keep it cool enough that it won't mess up your form and you'll be able to heat up just the part that you want. Really 
good. And then just give it a pinch. Pinch it with the water if you want. But that, uh, that'll seal it up nice. And then we're actually going to uh, tune this up here after we rivet it together. So there you go, guys. That's the sheath. The next part would be to rivet it, and then it would be done if that was just all, your, all you were going to do. But with this, I'm going to be putting some uh, leather strips across, like I was saying, to make this so that it'll mount to... Uh, uh, shoulder strap or something of that nature so I'm gonna pause here I'm gonna grab the leather strips that I've already already pre-made for this and uh, I'll show you how you rivet these together okay guys so now that we've got it all sanded cleaned out smoothed and the uh, tip here uh, fixed the last step, or the second to last step, will be to rivet it together. So, again, we want to figure out, make sure we're doing the right, the correct side. This is the front, and you want to insert your your rivets from the front to the back. That way, if you get a split rivet or something like that, then uh, it will be the the back that has the ugly part. So on this one, I am putting some leather straps on here. Uh, these are the leather straps I made up. with got snaps on them and everything. And uh, with those, we're going to use the longer rivets. Always double check to make sure you're putting everything on the right side. And before we rivet these together, we're going to want to snap, snap them together to make sure that they're going to be the right length. Uh, you want to be able to make sure that these are going to work before you rivet it together. So those snap together, so those are fine. Rivets are a real pain in the ass to take out once they're in. Okay. So on the riveter, the Arbor Press Master Series that Knife Kits has is uh, seriously the way to go if you guys are considering doing a lot of sheaths. They do have the hand punch ones which work, but the if you're going to be doing a lot of sheaths, you're definitely going to want to get an Arbor Press. Don't want to press down too hard, just enough to crimp the uh, the other ends. If you over tighten them, it'll cause them to split for sure. Looks good. Oh, missed one. There we go. Looks good. No splits. 
all sealed well. Strap snap. A little stiff. Oh, these are some heavy duty straps. There we go. One complete sheath. So now we're going to move on to the last stage, which is fitting and tuning. So I'm going to pause and we'll go over and set up at the other side. Okay, we're back over at the table for the last part of the sheath. And that's going to be final fitting and tuning. Alright, so the fit. Fits pretty good in there right now. But we're going to give it a little more, a little more uh, squeeze right here. So again, we're going to take our, our water soaked rags. Drape them over the parts that we don't want to heat up. And hit them for a few seconds with the air gun. And then pinch. It's a little warm. <laughs> There. That'll give it some decent bite. We'll leave that one open. All right. Looks good. One finished Kydex sheath for the Mora Campion. Thank you guys for watching. If you uh, intend on making your own videos or your own sheaths, good luck and uh, enjoy. Girls Tavern out.